back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my foundation routine and there's not much really to be said. My foundation routine is so so simple but a lot of you guys always ask about like my skincare and my foundation so I just want to like give you guys those main pointers and like give you guys everything that I use so that you guys know and maybe like a few tips and tricks because like I said I've only been doing my foundation for a year and I've watched a lot of other foundation routines and just to see what other people do so I basically took tips and tricks from like every video and then made my own foundation routine I'm very very simple I don't like to put too much on my face but when I do these are the pointers and things that I do for my foundation kind of have a few things to say before we get into um, how I apply it. First off, let me just say, I did do a skincare routine. So if you guys want to watch my skincare routine first of what I use and all that, um, I will link that video right below so you can just click on that. But jumping into it, what I do is I take a shower and after I wash my face, I get out of the shower, I put on my face lotion first thing like that's the first thing i do and this is what i use is the pond dry skin rich hydrating facial moisturizer because like i said i do have somewhat dry skin the foundation i've been using like non-stop like i've noticed in every video is the nars Shear glow foundation i'm probably going to stick to that one just probably color match myself a little bit better but i've been using it in stromboli but i did get a little bit tanned as you guys i I've been saying this in like the last couple of videos like I've been getting tanned so I kind of had to like mix it with another one and because my skin is somewhat dry I thought I would go ahead and mix it with this it looks a little bit dark so I mixed it in with the stromboli and it gave me this really beautiful foundation so I'm super super excited that I found this out but these are the two that I'm using today and this is just the BH Cosmetics in medium olive and Narshir Glow foundation and stromboli last thing before we get jump into the video is any type of facial spray there's fix plus which is my favorite I just don't have it on hand right now but I know after you like apply your foundation and you apply all your powders it can look a little bit powdery on your face so if you have a facial spray or fix plus I would definitely recommend spritzing your face with that so yeah that's basically it let's jump right into the video I do not use a primer just because I don't really feel like I need it my pores aren't that big um, the only time I would recommend using a primer or anything is if you're gonna be wearing your foundation like all day and you feel like it's gonna melt melt off and you want it to last longer then I would definitely recommend it hope you guys enjoy my foundation routine it's really really simple and if you guys do try it or use any of these products always let me know down below I always love conversating with you guys I already have my brows done just for the sake of time I'm going to do somewhat of a talk through just because I feel like it's more beneficial for you guys rather than over. Um, just let me know what your thoughts are on that. Whatever foundations I'm applying, I put them on the back of my hand and I mix them together just to get that warmth because if you apply it straight from the bottle, you're not going to get that warmth and it basically warms up the product to be placed on the skin and it will apply more flawlessly and more airbrush. So now that it's all blended out, I'm just going to put this on so now I'm just going to grab whatever's left on the back of my hand and then I'm going to whoa I look crazy um blend everything out with this brush I blend it into my skin using circular motion I love to make sure my foundation is completely blended into my skin so I take my time that's like probably the longest part it is a lot darker than the bottom of my face I don't know why <clears throat> maybe because it's so big and it attracts the sun so much but yes basically just keep blending it until you get it to your liking I just want to make sure that it's like blended into my skin and it want it doesn't look like it's just sitting on top of it but it's in my skin and I kind of feel like with the beauty blender it doesn't get all the way in well the real technique one that I used to use wasn't doing the job for me like I feel like this gives me so much of a like a flawless application. So next after I apply my foundation, I go ahead and move on to concealer or sometimes depending, I will do my eyes, but most of the times I just do concealer and I'm using the LA Pro Girl and Creamy Beige. I like to do 
a V, a V, the triangular. And I don't really do all that highlight. I kind of just do that area of the face because that's just the way my technique is. MAC NC20. And I'm just going to place that over top. And then I will just start blending it out with my face. And I don't like to bring it all the way out just because it can make your face look a little bit wider. And I already have a chunky face. So I don't want to make it look any more chunkier or wider than it needs to be. But after I kind of like dab it into my skin, I will then go in with a beauty blender just because it could get into those smaller corners. And I will spray it a little bit and then I will just blend it all out. Just blend it into the rest of the foundation. And if it does look like it's kind of bright in the middle. Once you do your blush and your contour and everything else, everything will just blend together very seamlessly. It's left over on the brush, then I will bring down. Okay, after I go ahead and place my concealer, I go ahead and set it. I've been using lately is the banana powder, and I will mix it in with MAC Emphasize just because I crease like crazy. Like I have little fine lines under there, and I get so irritated. So I use the banana powder because that it just does not crease at all like it's it works really really well so i will grab the banana powder i will dip my brush in it i will tap off the excess and then i will go in to my mac emphasize and i will just set my concealer after i go ahead and set my concealer and basically my foundation and concealer is done i will move on to bronzer and I just bronzer, conceal, contour, whatever you want to call it, depending on what you do that day. Today, I'm just going to contour my face and show you a little bit of how I contour slash bronze. So I just go ahead and place my brush right here and I do it in the hollows of my cheek or underneath that bone that you have right there. And I do circular motions and I work it down. As you guys already know, I have a really round face, so my best technique for that is of course doing some type of contour, but I also like to do the number three is basically this out portion, this portion, and this portion of your face, just to give you some definition and to make your face not look so round and it gives some type of shade so the face looks more defined and slimmer which I like. So I'm pretty much done with that. Then I will move on to blush. And the blush that I've been wearing is Warm Soul. But in the previous video I did, I believe it was my April favorite. A ton of you guys wanted me to do a makeup tutorial on that. But basically what I'm doing today is everything I did in that video. So I'm going to show you guys what I used. And I used the baked bronzer and 130 tropics from hard candy and that's what i used on my face that day so i'm just basically gonna do my foundation and everything the way i did it in that video because a lot of you guys requested it and then uh, the eyes was really really simple i just used like a dark burgundy and gold on the lid and this is just a powder kabuki brush just going to dab it into this bronzer place that on the apples of my cheek and work it back into my contour slash bronzer And because this already has like sheen in it, I'm not going to do anything crazy with my. And this you can kind of just like brush all over after just to, um, because it's not too intense, just to bring everything together. So that's basically it. Then usually what I will do is contour my nose a little bit and you can use any contour for that. Um, I used I like using a cooler tone just so it's not as like noticeable but for the sake of the video and just to save a little bit of time I'm just going to use the NYX deep tan and I just like lightly do a line down and you can see it very harshly but then I go ahead and blend it out I just place it so I know where it's at and that it's even with the other side and I just do that and then I go ahead and wipe my brush off and then I blend it in. I love you, Mom. I love you too, baby. 
We got swimming from the gym. Mm -hmm. We got really swimming at the gym. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I didn't want to go too extreme on the highlight, so I'm just using a little bit of BB Gerard Cosmetic Illuminator just to give a little bit of intensity, but nothing too extreme. Basically, the end result. What I will usually do is spray this, but I'm going to go ahead and do my eyes so you guys can see how the makeup pulls together when your eyes are completely done with the foundation. So let me finish that, and I will be right back. up so that's basically my foundation routine i hope you guys enjoyed this give it a thumbs up and if you guys ever want like a updated foundation routine or like a dewy foundation routine or anything always leave your suggestions down below i always love getting back to you guys thank you guys so much for watching subscribe if you haven't and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys that i've been using well Nine. Lightly the top part of my lightly the top portion of my forehead because my forehead is somewhat big. What? I like it. I like it too. Yeah, I got really sweaty. Bronzer. And then I'm going to place that on the apples of Jim and we're I gotta go now.